there's something sus with that kid, dude. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Something smells fishy, dude, and it's not my upper lip. May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn of something of value, I believe. Well, I mean, the only thing we could talk about is maybe the fight with me killing the primals, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I killed a few primals that were summoned by the pyramids, you know what I'm saying? It was no big deal, you know what I'm saying? Clan Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. <gasps> an orgy? A vile and unforgivable idea. I would love to be part of Fan Daniel's orgy, dude. What's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna be wrapping up the remainder of the Thavnir quest chain and the Endwalker MSQ. That's right. After this, we're gonna be beginning the other quest chain, mini quest chain, the Charlene quest line uh, from Cryo or whatever. And uh, then we'll continue with the, I guess you could say the main version of the MSQ. But uh, I'm very excited. So far, the story has been very good, very entertaining, and uh, still confused. Every time I see it, I'm just still confused for these elephants. Like, I just can't. T they're all this. The arms, same length. The the face, same face. There's no hair. They all look exactly the same, but different voices. And it's throwing me off. It makes me feel like there was some kind of scientific experiment that. You know went wrong or something i don't even know but hopefully soon we'll find out maybe we won't we'll find out soon or not but guys without further ado let us just jump straight into it dude. hello Nidhana. i like saying her name Nidhana. Nidhana. if you will excuse me i shall return to my work on the talisman ah you were both back excellent oh it's the fucking kid I have a message for you, Mistress Nihana. It would seem that the stores in the Giant's Gall are running low. The Giant's Gall? That sounds disgusting. What? But when would I last look? There was still plenty. I suspect that was before Orianji told everyone about their tempering cure, and Astinian shed his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. Oh god, so it's Astinian's fault. I see. Well, if it leads to Nuke's possibilities, then far be it from me to complain, but we will need to replenish our stores. I shall be happy to attend to this if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good conscience send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. You'll be fine, bro. Look at his eyes, dude. You can tell he's like he's he's practically a demon, dude. You'll be fine. Arcavian, loath though I am to press another task on you so soon, might I ask that you fetch the giant skull? In any case you are familiar, giant skull is a type of ore found on the island, owing it to its hardness and ethereal connectivity. It has applications and much disciplines, alchemy not least of all. Okay. The quarry where it's found, aptly named giant skull grounds. Oh wow, how, how, how unique. Is it far away? So it shouldn't take much of your time. May we impose you on once more? I fucking guess, dude. Sure. Right? It's not like it's not like I have a choice. Thank you. Upon arriving at the grounds, please seek out a man named Zenuya. He will furnish you with the ore. Okay, so we don't even have to do mining. Some guy's just gonna give it to us. At the very least, permit me to accompany you. It so happens I have an errand of my own that will take me to that outpost nearby. I don't trust him. May we borrow a pair of Hamza, Mr. Nidhana? Don't trust them, dude! By all means, do try to be patient with them. Those that survived are still in the training. I will bring the Hamza to the entrance. Meet me there when you are ready. Don't trust them. There's some... There's something up with them, dude. There's something, there's something sus with that kid, dude. I'm telling you, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Something smells fishy, dude. And it's not my upper lip. Are you fucking demon, dude? What the hell are these? 
They're like fat ass chickens with no wing wings that don't even match the same color of their of their actual feathers. Dude. Like it's like wings from a completely different animal just plopped on their back. You ain't fooling nobody, dude. They look like they look like giant dodos, bro. Here are Hamza. Okay, David. If the creatures are familiar, it is because they are close to kin to your Aeosian dodos. Okay, so it is a dodo. Hamza have been kept as livestock in Tavnir, and many a hatchery may be found here. Alas, the largest of these were recently raised by mosses from the tower. On account of said hatchery being situated near the tower, the radiant host repurposed its rem its remnants as an outpost. That is where my errand takes me, and your own destination is but a stone's throw away. If you have no objections, let us first make for the outpost. Be set forth at your wood. I still don't fucking trust them, dude. Are you ready? Then let us depart. You need only ride and relax. My bird and I will take the lead of yours to follow. Let us be off. If you haven't ridden Dodos before, we warn that you have in a wobbling gate. What the fuck's a wobbling gate? He said just sit back and relax. Okay, I'm sit back and relaxed. The spectacular forma formation stretching out over the water is called Gara. The sword legend holds the wielded of Mansuya against the Murga before it was casted down at conflict's end. Interesting. To the left, and, the, and requiring no introduction to the tower, as you can see, it straddles a small aisle. Oh, wow. Almost there, though the main part of the hatchery is atop the cliff, the outpost itself is on the beach. So are we going to the, we're going to the beach? We're, we're going, no, we're going up top the cliff, right? Outpost is at the beach? I don't know. Where are we going first? I forget. I would love to have this as a mouth though, for Rosie's. This mount's so cool. Imagine, imagine a Rogadian on this, dude. Oh, that'd be so funny. Ta-da! We've arrived! Uh, wait, he didn't even give us snackies? He just did this, dude? Okay, I'll take it. And here we are. Manned by the Radiant Host. This outpost is for the first line of defense against the tower. Doesn't seem like much of a defense. Hello? Well, well. Who should it be, the young Vashar? On an errand for the strat, yep? I am. His Excellency bade me to come to collect your report. He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging de dedication. We simply do our duty, but we are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for his boundless benevolence, his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous. He's not even a child, bro. No, he's like a demon, dude. Don't you get it? Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm these past few days, this remains the front line of battle. No place for children. He's not a child! The predecessor, too often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years now since, you've take, since you took over? I wonder how the fellow is faring. Not those before him, he went on to represent the satrap and foreign lands, wherever he may be now be, I am certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do for my own volition, and gladly, I pray you do not think ill of His Excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith is in the satrap is unwavering, but I still, I worry for you. Bro, don't worry about him, dude. You don't give a, bro, he don't, even, he don't give a fuck about you, dude. Why should he worry about him? We will be overcome with sadness as something were to befall you, for you are as little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? Wait, is that... Is that truthful? That's so sweet. And here I am, being an asshole. I'm so sorry. I will not be. Thank you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... I, I, I misunderstood. I misunderstood you, lad. And who might this be? Not hand is by the look of him. Permit me to introduce Arcavian Grin of Aeosian Contingent. Come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Aeosia, you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me, what is the situation like? Uh, it's, 
fine, actually. I don't think I've seen any demons or anything walking around that you guys have been talking about. May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties would stand to learn of something of value, I believe. I mean, the only thing we could talk about is maybe the fight with me killing the primals, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I killed a few primals that were summoned by the pyramids, and I was saying it was no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Given the unprecedented nature of our threats, some of ours are un understandably anxious. We would be glad to for any tidings you can share. You two, bring Varshad the latest reports and answer any questions he may have. It's kind of interesting how they're treating him with such respect. Fact. I remember when I was a kid, no adult ever treated me with respect like this. You lucky son of a bitch. Well, to be fair, this is a demon. This isn't. Look at him, dude. No shot. No shot. This is this is this is a, a nice young lad, dude. No shot, dude. Look at him. Fucking demon. I'm telling you, bro. It occurs to me I have yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Reading Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. Our duty is to preserve peace in the land, be it patrolling the street or dealing with hereafter. Unknown threats such as now. We train hard and only admit capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeeded in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. What are the towers in Eosia? Do they likewise spawn monsters? Uh, I mean, they did, but we handled them, like, super quick. It wasn't a problem. So it's most of the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. You wish to know about the tower. To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. This Tower of Zot, as folk have taken to calling it, suddenly appeared where it did on the Isle of Nurinair. It was safe from its influence at this distance, but go too far in the water, and you'll be exposed yourself to its corrupting aether. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are you dealing with the tower in your homeland? Bro, you guys keep asking the same damn question. We just went in there and clapped the cheeks, dude. Like, every time they summon things, we just we just get them out of here, dude. Our struggles are not unique. Then our hopes still align with the talismans. We must keep the muscles contained until they're ready. Okay. And what about you, Imhari? Or I'm Hudi? Ah, I've heard about you. You're the visitor from Eosia. Is there anything you can tell us about the Teleferoi? We know that they are the ones behind the tower, and that they've declared war on the whole world. But why are they doing this? Why? What is it that they want? This, we don't understand. Well, some people just want to watch the world burn. What? They want to die? And take everyone with them? What madness is this? Yeah. That's, yeah, it's fucking, yeah, it's crazy, but, I mean, what are we going to do, right? Well, you can't bet that we won't let those bastards have their way. We'll fight with them everything we have, like an, like our Eosian and Far Eastern brothers. True, dude, we will fight to the very end, dude. Uh, gang, gang, you know what I'm saying, dude. All right, I have gathered all the information I needed. Finished speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it was enlightening for you as it was for them. As a neutral nation and trading hub both, Rats at hand ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, the stream dried up when dra when trading vessels stopped coming. Amidst the dearth of information, everyone will have been grateful for our account. But come, you had best to see your original errand, as mine will keep you here for a while longer. However, I'm afraid I cannot guide you the rest of the way. Worry not, the path is straightforward. You need to follow the road east upon the Hamza. You will arrive before you know it. Brief though it was, I enjoyed our time together. Till we meet again. But well, wait a minute. Wasn't I supposed to babysit you? Every time, it just seems sussier and sussier, that fucking demon over the under. I don't trust him. Though the house appears to want to return home, its reluctant offers you its back. Should you become separate from your steed, speak with the radiant beastkeeper in the Hamza Hatchery and mount it again. Oh, damn. So it doesn't even want me to mount it. No sooner do you arrive at your destination, then the Hamza dashes off. Okay. Hello. 
Hi, this is indeed the Giant's Guard Grounds, and I am Zenhuya. And there, something you require? I forgot. Giant's Call. Oh, yes, the mineral. That's right. I had a brain fart. We need ore. That's right. Giant's Call for the alchemist, you say? But of course, they shall have it. They labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and test the least we can do to provide them with the materials they need. Oh, wow, that's it? Just like that? Okay, that was pretty easy. Here you are, a sack of the purest giant's gall. We always set some aside for our alchemist friends. Why, thank you, young lion. When you deliver it, let the good folk of the great work know that we're grateful of their efforts. If they need more, they need but ask. Oh, wow, what a nice guy, dude. Listen, man, I don't care what they say about you. You are all right. You know that? Okay, I have arrived. Ah, welcome back, Okavian. Dare I hope you have the giant's goal? I do, I have a whole sack full of giant's goals. That's right. Oh my, such fine specimens. Thank you so much for bringing these. We now have everything we need to make our next prototype, one that should be capable of passing our most rigorous tests. When it is ready, it will be time for the true test, so please take your ease while you can. Okay. I think this is I think this is voice over time. Shh, shh, shh. Wait, who is that? Oh, just a stranger. Oh, I see. Stranger danger. Where the fuck am I walking to? Oh my god. I'm contemplating. I'm remembering the day I almost drowned. What's up, dude? Uh, fancy seeing you guys here. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism. But I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. But will it actually be a breakthrough, though? Who knows? They might destroy the world. For all this effort was for naught. The peoples of Eorzea, of the Far East, of Thavnir, children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Yet wow. They succumbed to suicidal madness. How beautiful. Were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we. They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. And so deep. The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. I'm so I love hearing the the cutscenes. I love hearing your talk. It's like he's like a he's like a walking Bible, dude. Oh man, I love it. Sorry. Poetic and ominous to a fault. Yes, yes, indeed. That said, if it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you think. Than Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. <gasps> An orgy! Vile and unforgivable idea. I would love to be part of Fan Daniel's orgy, dude. And yet, when spat upon by fate and waited, we're gonna get spat to upon to too. Oh to man! Say they have not entertained similar thoughts. There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope, and no words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. The more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. True. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. Though your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others, to see them drown in torment as you have. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Yep. 
Yeah, that's life. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival proveth more appealing in the end. As will I. Well, I also the hope we survive, because... chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. He's like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> what can I say, right? Wait, what? Hey, hey, get, hey, get back here. Hey, where the fuck did he go? What is it? What did you see? Bro, I swear I saw some stupid ass in a, in a black robe, dude. He was watching us. He's being a peeping Tom, dude. Are you sure? Yeah. If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. I'm pretty sure it was him. The vessel holds. This is the one. Oh god. And Fendani was here, dude. He's gonna kill every one of them. He's gonna literally kill them all. Before we even get over there, dude. Oh no, they're alive. Jimmy. But congrats! Look, we have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. No shot! Wow, look at that! Rewarding scale for the time being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. <gasps> That's crazy! Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. I thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsaid until we test the talisman's efficacy in the field. Okay. And how do we test that? It is for the next stage of our plan that we summoned you in the first place. To accompany me to the Tower of Zot. Okay. Should the scale prove effective, as I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated, I must ask that you restrain me or knock me senseless. You ain't gonna tell me twice. Oh, you needed to ask. Oh, yes. You need me to knock you out, you say? No problem. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Oh, uh, you're welcome. I, are you certain you wish to do this? Well, who else is he to send? Your dumbass? Of course she's gonna go. If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. That's right. So she dies first. That's right. But should I fail to return? Then learn what you can from this attempt and apply it to the next. Our work must continue. Is that clear? Yeah, so they're going the only thing they're gonna learn on this one that they're not gonna use next is they're not gonna let their their boss, you know, take the first attempt, right? They're gonna let some expendable loser fucking go take the first attempt. They're gonna hire some janitor or some shit, and he's gonna end up dying and stuff. And that's how we're gonna be testing our subjects. And we're gonna start testing it on rats and shit, because elephants are scared of rats and whatnot. Yep, yep, that's what's gonna happen after this if you die. That's the only lesson they're gonna learn. Oh, let's not let, let's not kill our boss again. Place while you're away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about, there's no telling what mischief he has in mind for us. Or we mischief. Be on your guard. I will do my best. No promises, though. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. Okay. I bet. I, I will see you there soon. Toodles. All right. So does this mean? Does this mean we're getting on a ship? This is rather a finer boat than I expected, but I won't complain. All that remains is the board and be on our way. Oh, and if you should become corrupted, do not stay on your hand. Of course, I pray it does not come to that. But you must protect yourself. Okay, so if you get corrupted, you want me to beat your ass. Okay, I got that. I could do that, dude. I will summon my blue eyes white dragon and one shot you, dude. 
other alchemists can fulfill my role. But you and your blessings are one of a kind, and perhaps our only hope for toppling this tower. For all of our sakes, do not hesitate to do what you must be done. Whatever you, whatever that may be. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let's be off. Okay, head to the Tower of Zot with Nedhana. So, Tower of Zot is an area, dude? We should soon cross the threshold of the tower's influence. I feel like Ed Walker has a lot more cutscenes with voiceover, with voice acting, which is awesome. It's working. And you, you are still yourself. Yep. And I'd like to see how it fades closer to the tower if we could. Okay, sure. Not yeah, sure. We can go there. You want us to crash into the island, right? We can just crash straight into the island and just climb it. We can do that. Yeah, sure. So far, so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. Okay. If we can just make it to the tower's entrance. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let, let, let's hope let's hope she doesn't die or or get corrupted in any way, cause this might suck. A few more steps. A few more. You're almost there. <laughs> Praise be to the sisters, we made it. Uh huh. And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Okay, then why do we still have this creepy ass music? Explain that. Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. I don't know. What? Oh god! What? The fuck is this? Oh my god, she just got dragged into a sex dungeon, dude! Oh no, no. This place is fucking creepy, dude. Oh, wait a minute. This looks like that one area that was in the uh, previous... It was in Shadowburn, one of the last MSQs. <gasps> Fandaniel! You bastard! Let her go! Down. Oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. You sure hurt herself at all. She didn't have to thrash. Let her go. Stop. Oh, you can't do this. Please. Oh my god. He's just shoving her in there, dude. Head first. No. Oh my god. The talisman. No, dude. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way we can save everybody. There's got to be a way. You late for heroics, I'm afraid. You get that shit back now. It's not yours. The similarities are striking. Wait a minute. I think he's talking about cuz this does this actually does kind of look like the the Hydaelyn or the Zodiac shape, if I'm not mistaken. Look, it's almost the same exact thing. Just like, you know, talisman form. Or maybe this one would be better. It almost looks the same. My, my, such hostility. Never before has my artistry so displeased. Well, you're about to get a whole fucking can full of whoop ass. If you don't fix what you just did. Would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, 
I find gushing praise exhausting. What the fuck are you talking about? Can you mind, you mind going back a few steps? Wait! All that work we put into building that talisman, you're gonna throw it off? You story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. What? I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final days. Uh huh. Speaking. So his body got taken. Speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. <sighs> How to explain? Perhaps if I told you who I was before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose into an Allegan ruin or two. Yes? Maybe. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old. Maybe. Okay. Um, um, at your I'm on! Service. No shot, dude! What? Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Uh huh. Every need met. Day after day of unbroken, unshakable peace. Okay. Existence. Fulfilled and ripe for decay. That's also very true. You are a genius without peer, Amon. However, do you conceive of such delightful experiments? That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help. Emerged as so much guttural lowing. Oh, 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 the memory of it. <laughs> my poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter that we struggled to breathe. No more than entertainment for bored wastrels ignorant of its worth. My all consuming work. But it was not their only. Indulgence. Damn, everybody's staring at me. What a fucking weirdo, dude. Stimulation. Slaves to the slightest hint that amusement was afoot. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. I resurrected a legend. Our first and greatest emperor. And just as I had planned, he set our wayward empire back on the path of conquest. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards, always onwards. Yet, he who delivered to us such glory well, well, well. was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armand. Ooh. No matter how vast one's empire, Zandi. One's treasure vault. This is from this. This is that same dude from the same raid, right? Meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. That's crazy. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I had come to claim you. For while your methods leave something to be desired, 
we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place amongst your peers, rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. See what lies ahead. The way that they're structuring the story is incredible. Like, holy shit. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth. Majestic and tragic. As the Emperor foresaw. Scheme as you like. Build as you will. Nothing endures. What is life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? A little depressing, but very cool. And we're back! Where do you go? Where the fuck did he go? I almost left without saying farewell. Oh my god, how long was I passed out for, dude? As for your friend, you need worry. These horns are far more useful to me alive as fuel for the primates. Well, for how long? If you attempt to pull them free, they will die. So. Enjoy, Enjoy tackling, tackling that conundrum, conundrum with your comrades. Okay, so then how the fuck are we supposed to we save her? Meet again. Not in one of these minor spires. Oh, no, no. But somewhere more suitably grandiose. Your favorite playmate is ever so eager to see. Oh my god. I don't want to play with him. I don't want to make friends with him. He stinks. We will come back, and I will save you. I will save everyone. You just have to trust. Hang in there. Don't go anywhere. Ah, oh, you were returned, but where is Mr. Stidana? Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, dude, she was kidnapped, dude. Monsieur Preserve, just when we had succeeded in making the talisman. Yeah, I know, dude. Oh, funny thing about that, talisman is gone, too. I, I must report this at once. Meanwhile, please report to the Great Work. Okay. I will go back to the Great Work if I must. Now I gotta break the news to Thancred and everybody that I fucked up and failed the mission. Uh, Thancred? I made a boo-boo. Something's gone Ari, hasn't it? What happened? She's gone, dude. <laughs> She's in the tower now. So it was Fan Daniel after all. Damn that bastard. I'm sure you wanted to do more, but you were right to return here first. We must tread warily, lest we endanger any Hana and the other captives. Okay, we will take it easy. We will take it easy, Lee man. First, we must inform everyone of the situation, and Hana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Oh, God. How? I don't... How am I supposed to do this, dude? Listen, listen. I tried my best. I passed out, dude. I had a migraine. I had a headache. Okay, Fan Daniel fucking got out of my way. Like he 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 got out of my gr my my grasp. Okay, you need to understand. Okay, listen. It's fine. She said there was other people, other alchemists that could do her job, right? It, who care? Who gives a shit? She's gone. Find another Nidhana. Oh, Nidhana. <laughs> Nidhana. It's okay, dude. Just find another one. Can you answer me this? Though Nidhana is trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? I mean, technically. But what does that have to do with anything? Just, f just fucking it. Then. 
then we must make warding scales, as many as we can. The prototype works perfectly. This, Ninhada proved at peril to herself. So let us make more scales, and then she and all those who were taken might be saved. Do they actually, could they actually do it? I don't know. Aye, as Akumis, this is how we will help win the fight. Okay, well, I don't believe, but I believe, guys. Good luck. My friends, the Satrap has, made, has been made aware of your tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all you uh, with all that you require. To that end, he bade me to give you this link pearl that he might personally discuss the production of the warring scales with you. The, he gave him his own cell phone, dude. He gave him a cell phone number, dude. Gee. And for Aeosian visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mr. Dinhada noted that your right that your vital contributions to the talisman's create, cre creation. This fact came to the Sastrab's attention, and in recognition of your deeds, he wishes to meet you. Us? Really, did? In addition to thanking you in person, he would also discuss further avenues of collaboration. And so, if it is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Ratsan Hand for an audience with His Excellency? I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, I guess. Let's do it. We should be honored, of course. Closer cooperation between the lands can only be to the benefit of all. Then it is settled. Please come to the gates east of Giant's Gold Grounds, and I will show you into the city. Okay. I will see you soon. Okay. Looks like the whole gang is here. All present? Then let us proceed. Owing to the threat of the tower, the city is currently in a state of high alert, and strict restrictions are in place for entry. Though you have been all granted per special permission, I ask that you remain close to me at all times. Okay, I will do my best. I was never really good at that as a kid. My mom would tell me the same shit, but I would go around touching everything just because she told me I shouldn't. A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city of Rods at Han. Wow. This place, even though it's still colorful, looks like a melted box of crayons. This place definitely still does look like very pretty. Ye who enter here are subject to the scrutiny wow. of gods, the gate's most watchful eye. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Is this how India is like? Because it is definitely beautiful. Pass beneath its hot and piercing gaze, bearing down like a second midday sun. The fragrant haze, a mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors were once swallowed up by patchwork streets. Damn. Ratsatan. So I'm assuming this is the next big city that wasn't shown in the cinematic. I mean, this city is very beautiful. Look at the fountain. To what somber <clears throat> present does that divine eye bear witness? This fucking demon. Bro, I'm, I, I can't do his I can't do his voice. He's gonna sound the way I make him sound. I can't do his voice. I'm really bad with accents. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. 
Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. It's okay. And it would have been our pleasure to see them. Alas, it seems <clears throat> our tour of the city will have to wait. I'm afraid so. Come, we should head inside. Okay. Well, let's go. Hopefully, uh, we're not in Haiti or whatever. Bro, I don't care what y'all say, dude. My armor looks like main character armor. You know what I mean? That's the kind of vibe it gives me. I don't give a fuck what kind of shit talking y'all give me. But hello! Ah, splendid. Most splendid. Sad it! Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzatan. Ahawan! Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the warding scale. That's right. Such deeds ought to be recognized in person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, may I express to you our sincere gratitude. <laughs> no problem, man. No problem. It was nothing at all, dude. Except for the fact, except for the fact that they had a, she, she, except for the fact that she was taken. Everything went well, but she was taken. Regrettable incident indeed. Indeed it was. Her Wait. colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman. That it will be instrumental in saving the Dana and the others. Yes, why are you seeming, why are you talking like you don't care yourself? I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. Okay. Okay, uh, I see it where. Just, I just... think not. Okay, okay, Stenian. For the why? Sherard has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Wait, so I wasn't the only one? He was being sus. Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Now then. <laughs> He hath the right of it. Oh, the wait. Time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I felt like he was being saucy. But Estinian knew that there was another person? What the fuck? How the hell did you know he was back there, dude? What, did you hear breathing or something? As you wish. He kind of sounds like uh, Lord Vothry. Show yourself you now. As assistance to the students of Valdesian. Yes. But you are known to me. A dragon. Have we heard of the science of the seventh dawn? Is this V through? Wow, dude. I am Vritra. Or Vitra. Damn, bro. Why would they have this in, in the end Walker thing? I would have loved to have seen this without that spoiler, dude. Oh, dude. That's such a badass dragon, too. Ritra. Of the first brood. Sibling to Hreisvelger and Nidhogg. Yeah, that's right. I, my elder brothers, of Midgard's former Yep, he was the last to hatch, so he was the baby, and he used to always make fun of his little, you know, schnauzer he's got going on right there, dude. He used to always make fun of him, pick on him, dude. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Radzat Han had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in a satrap's own hall. A necessary subterfuge. As the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra and Vitra alone. But when I thought, I thought when he said, 
I'm pulling up the cinematic. I'm pulling it up. He's saying V true. But in here, in the cinematic, he's saying V true. But in the game, he's saying V true. Are they two different dragons? They literally look exactly the same dragon. This one's got tusks with the with the with the long ass nose. Oh, you said Vitra. Damn, bro. What a spoiler, dude. Oh, I would have loved to have seen this. Like, at this point, seeing the cinematic, now we know that, that Estinia is going to partner up with this dragon, right? Now we know what's going to happen. But if they didn't say have it in the cinematic, I would have had no fucking idea, would have had no clue, and that would have been an epic freaking moment. But it's fine, I guess. It's fine. In time, the ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Yeah, they would never do that. Fuck that. Next to arrive with the Aura. Adopting the example of their Akasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between our forefathers and the great worm endured. Until marauding heroes from the mainland came, threatening to shatter our peace and tranquility. Those damn humans, dude! It seemed all would be drowned in blood. Vitra himself came forth and quelled the rising conflict. A peaceful accord was reached, and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state which was to grow into Rad's Adhan. Wow, dude. But if Retra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... A meme? A charade. Yes. <gasps> and one which what? my family has performed faithfully for generations. A charade? Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, then the fires of war would burn without end. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Oh, damn. Your eye. It was taken. What? Oh, shit! Tis oh my god within the semblance of flesh bro what another fucking spoiler dude square enix he has his eye there the fuck dude like i feel like this is such this is badass right this is badass but i feel like this is information that we shouldn't have been given that's just me i don't know i don't know Maybe I'm overreacting. I don't know. That's just that's just how I'm taking it. But it's still good though. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisans of Razathan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my will. What? That would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. Interesting. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. So I was I was right, it's not a little boy. It's not a demon though. It's a dragon, dude. Though twas short lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left thee much altered. Estinian one blood. Interesting. He knows who he is too. Well, isn't that one From creepy the ass look? First, we sensed the nature of one another, yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. That is all I need know of thee for now. Okay.
Is he in trouble? Okay. And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must choose thy soldiers with care. Yep, okay. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is full So this is gonna be a dungeon. I see a sure path before me. I think they're saying it's a dungeon because we gotta go with a small group. Like it's not gonna be a trial. Okay. Want me to be your Rudolph is what you're saying. Talismans would of okay. course be provided for each of thy companions. And should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided to make use of as you see fit. Okay. Okay. There's no denying it's a dangerous proposition, but the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Just think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. Yep, that'd be pretty poggers, I'd say. I worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Tis no trifling task that I have laid before you. Go, steal your hearts and own your plans. Such time as you require shall be spent in crafting your protective charms. Okay, thanks, I guess. It seems a quick trip back to Charlia is in order. Alright. Perfect! Because that's exactly where we have to go to start the next story uh, line thing. Will thou not lend thine aid? Knowing the connection that Vitra and it's thing they're gonna have in the future. Be made as a great worm for the ruler of Rod's at Han. I see no reason to refuse, nor will I. Okay, good. So this is gonna be part of it. So knowing now that I know that they're gonna have an incredible relationship together, right? I, I guess it gives me a deeper bond with what they're gonna experience. Wow, dude. And this is how a loving relationship was born. Maybe they did it intentional. They must have done it intentional, right? They must have, they, they know how the story plays out, right? They must have done it intentionally. I'm just overreacting. That's the only way that, that's the only way I can justify this. That meeting took a rather unexpected turn, but now we have the clear objective ahead of us. Let us rejoin our comrades in Charlie and I muster a suitable crew for our foray into the Tower of Zot. Oh, and if you haven't already done so, be sure to attune to the Aether up here before departing. Unless, of course, you enjoy Violet Nausea. Okay. I will grab the Aether as soon as I find it, because I forgot. Wait, what fucking crystal? I can't even go in there, big guy. What fucking crystal are you talking about, Willis? Okay. It seems like the gang is here. Where's everybody else? Just as I was getting to use Balmy Thavnir, we're back in the chilly Chalian. Take care of not to catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, your investigation here remains, but when that's over, we can take the stock of all the developments and discoveries. Well, ding a ling ding, bitch. 81. That's right. Guys, this is where we're gonna call it. Yeah. Thank you all of those who have made it this far into the video. If you have, contemplate on maybe hitting that like button. Or, if you haven't already, 
hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I post future content. Because with all that said, I will catch you all next time on the flip side. Peace.